Welcome back. It's time now for the financial week. Small businesses have seen a spike in sales this week, and they're expected to reap even more rewards from tonight's grand market. Now, earlier today, our reporter Javon Keyes spoke with president of the Small Business Association, Michael Leckie, who says his members are cautiously optimistic. It's still a tight financial period for many businesses as the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic persists. However, the Christmas period has given new hope for many small business players. According to president of the Small Business Association, Michael Leckie, sales this week have gone up. Based on, on uh, a survey, about 15% uptick. And we see that as a big, big boost based on the fact that it was pretty flat. And the prospect of more sales continues with the reduced curfew hours this Christmas Eve. And I'm glad that the government, although we have the new variant happening, we know that we didn't want the government to really panic and decided to close or shorten the, 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 um, the sales week. So what we are glad for is that we are glad that we reintroduced the grand market and we are glad for that. As a result, my members are saying that, listen, all those who have not done anything, this is the time. He says, however, that many are just breaking even or simply operating at a loss with the fluctuation of the U.S. currency and rising interest rates. The feedback that I'm getting is that the BOJ did a bad move because what we're looking at, that the, the interest rate or what is happening with the inflation is a double whammy. Interest rate, what you look at, unstable dollar, and what all of that is happening is that or we need to put the, we are forced to put the cost to the consumer. And that is a bad thing. But we think that they should rethink the, the increase in the interest rate by the BOJ because we think it's a really external forces that cause it. Mr. Lecky says his members have already had to increase prices before the Yuletide season. To currency trading now, the U.S. dollar is being sold for an average $154.43. $120.72 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar, $204.89 for the pound, while the euro is trading at $177.21. The JSE index gained 512 points today, while the junior market index advanced by 29 points. Among today's winners were Alaska distributors, Honeybun, First Rock Capital Holdings, U.S. dollar shares, Dolphin Cove, and 1834 Investments. On the losing side, GUS Corporation, Paramount Trading Jamaica, Kingston Wharves, Epley, and Trans Jamaican Highway. And that's the financial week. News from overseas when we return.